Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's a river that runs under everything and the means to see what is real but invisible. Faith is the habit of hoping in God and the cumulative and earned knowledge that God is reliable. Faith is more than the idea of God, more than the awe at the ocean or the mountains. Faith is more than the materialization of our wants and needs. Faith isn't the sole possession of the church, but faith can start with an idea of God and grows when nature takes our breath away. And Jesus did say that there's an intersection where faith and provision meet, and a good church will grow faith in people. Nothing grows a soul like faith. The soul rounds out and matures when it lives by faith, but faith also purges. Mature faith can't coexist for long with smallness, separateness, or superiority in any of its forms. Real faith cleans house as it redecorates. There's a loss and a gain to this equation. It's just not possible to live by faith without sacrifice. If your faith doesn't cost you something, it's probably not faith. We've all experienced loss in these recent months, but specifically, what has your faith in Jesus Christ cost you? Faith is pleasing to God. God loves to meet us at the intersection of fear and doubt and then ask us to have faith. How pleased God must have been when Mary said, Hey God, this is ridiculous, this invitation, but your words are life to me. So let's do the Jesus thing. Faith makes you at home everywhere, but leaves you with a nagging unsettledness about how much the world regularly resembles hell. I heard a preacher say one time that baptism ought to give you a quarrel with the world. Faith isn't a lucky rabbit's foot or a protective hedge around your life, but faith makes anything that can or does happen to you a way to know God more fully. That is faith's promise. Have faith, know God. Faith helps us to see and join God in God's progress. In our tradition, we talk in terms of the life of the world to come, which means God is perpetually up to something, pulling down things and building up things, reconciling things. Faith helps us to see as God sees. Faith understands what the great whales of the ocean understand, that there's a clear signal from the center that comes to the eyes last. Faith sings to us as we face mortality, frailty, love and paradox. Faith is a love song in a burger jingle world. Jesus' friends asked him one day to increase their faith, and that's when Jesus taught them in matters of faith. He said, we're not talking big as the world understands big. We're talking genuine and consequential. Real faith is known by what it produces, a tall tree from a seed, a life of generosity and selflessness, persistent courage to name injustice and work for equity. Faith is generative. What have you made out of your faith? And what is your faith making out of you? As we continue to live in this pandemic, maybe now it's time to turn our attention from questions like, how will we make it? And when will we reopen? To what have we learned? And how will we be different? How will we have more faith? That is the genius of God. Every season and every situation we encounter is made better with just a little bit more faith. God bless you. See you next week.